hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can unlock the bootloader and install twrp recovery in your samsung galaxy m52 5g so yeah, i'm going to be covering two things in this video unlocking the bootloader and installing the twrp recovery why to just make two separate videos when you can cover both of them in one single video so yeah and guys i finally found the intro video file so i'm going to be including the intro from now so yeah let's get into the video right after the intro Alright so now we're gonna have to download some files head over to the links in the description down below. So first up is the Samsung Android USB driver so just hit on this download button over here and the download will start. Next up is the patch Odin and as always I recommend patch Odin over the normal Odin. Just scroll down a bit and here you can download the latest version. Next up is the TWRP recovery image. So the TWRP for this device is created by Paulo Wesley and if you scroll down a bit here you can get the download link just click on this recovery.img file and the download will start and next up is the patched vbmeta.img so now here i want to say a few things uh, so to to get to this page you just uh, have to open this github link over here which says bootloader slash modem collection so just hit on that and now what i want to say is let me just uh, open this up i didn't open it and keep it ready so yeah now if your phone is running the binary for cwl2 build then you need to download the patched vbmeta.tar from the github website and you also have to make sure your cse code matches so this is zto this is ins so if my phone would be running on the binary for cwl2 build then i would have downloaded this one but if your phone is running a higher build like the binary 4 cxd1 or the binary 5 cxe2 then you will have to download the vb meta image file from the lineageos website and yes guys lineageos has started making roms for the galaxy m52 5g the next video is going to be on how to install lineageos on, on this device so stay tuned for that so as i said if your phone is running a higher build which is binary 4 cxd1 or binary 5 cxe2 then you will have to download the vb meta image from the uh, lineageos website which is this one over here you just hit the download button and the download is going to start if your phone is running below these two builds if your phone is running binary 4 cwl2 binary 3 cwh4 or any anything lower than that then you can download the uh, vb meta.img from the github website so yeah that's what i want to say so my phone is actually running the latest build which is binary 5 cxe2 so i'm gonna have to download the uh, vb meta image file from the lineageos website but the procedure is the same for both of them so there's not much difference or anything if you're just running build lower than binary 4 cxd1 then just download from the github website if you're running a higher build you are binary 4 cxd1 binary 5 cxe2 then download from the lineageos website all right so once you have downloaded all the files you can exit out of your browser all right before we continue i would like to let you know that all the data on the device will be erased so back up anything important that you have on the device next up is sign out of all your accounts your google account your samsung account any account just sign out of all of them you can always sign back in and also don't forget to remove your sim card and the next one i would like to say is that this will ward your phone's warranty so if you have bought an extended warranty or something think twice before you do this and this one more thing which i would like to say is uh, so i don't know if this applies for the m series phone i think this only applies for the s series phone but i'm not sure if this will apply for both the s series phone and the m series phones so what happens is when you unlock your bootloader the e-fuse of your Nox chip on the phone will blow so once this happens there's no going back even if you lock your bootloader samsung pay samsung pass secure folder and maybe other payment apps won't work so that is one thing to keep in mind all right let's continue all right so first up what we need to do is convert the image files into tar files so i'm using 7-zip to do that so what you need to do is right click on the file go to 7-zip choose add to archive and then in the archive format drop down menu choose tar and let the name be the same don't change the name and then select ok and now the tar file is created do the same for the vb meta image file right click 7 zip add to archive choose tar in the archive format drop down menu let the name be the same 
select OK and now the VB Meta tar file is created. If you have downloaded the VB Meta image file from the GitHub website, it will already be in a tar file format so you don't have to do that again. But this I downloaded from the Linux website. So I will have to convert it to a tar file manually. So once that is done, go ahead and extract the Odin zip file. Again, you can use any extracting tool. I'm using WinRAR. Open up Odin. Select OK. And now here first, you need to click on the AP button. And then now browse to where the recovery.tar file is stored. So mine is on desktop so I'm going to choose desktop and then double click on recovery.tar file and next up for the vbmeta.tar file you need to click on the user data button over here and then again browse to where the vbmeta.tar file is stored so double click on that and now the files are loaded all right so next up we need to get our phone ready all right so first up what you need to do is you need to enable the OEM unlocking to do that go to the settings app scroll down head over to developer options Again, if you don't have developer options, just head over to about phones, software information and then tap on the build number a couple of times. Once you have done that, you can go back and then you will have the developer options page. Once in that page, you need to enable OEM unlocking. Hit on enable and now once that is enabled, now you need to reboot your phone into the download mode. To do that, first switch off your phone. Once your phone is completely switched off, you need to press and hold the volume up and down button and then connect your phone to your PC. Now you can go ahead and disconnect your phone from the PC. And now what you need to do is long press the volume up button, keep holding it until the screen goes black. And now you can let go of the volume button once the screen goes black. And then again you need to select volume up to unlock the bootloader and as you can see it also says may void warranty i know you can't read it properly because i'm recording on an old camera so i'm sorry for that now press the volume up button and now your phone is going to reset and it's going to unlock the bootloader as you can see this phone's bootloader is unlocked and everything hit power button to continue Alright, now again you need to set up your phone like you just got a new one, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so now we have successfully unlocked the bootloader of the phone, so now I'm gonna show you how you can install the TWRP recovery in your Samsung Galaxy M52 5G. So now, to do that first, you need to make sure that the OEM unlock option is still turned on. So I'm gonna go to software information, build number, go back, developer options, and yeah, so once you reset the phone and if you go to the settings you will not find the OEM unlock option now what you need to do is just turn off the developer options go back and then connect your phone to the Wi-Fi I'm just gonna connect my phone to the Wi-Fi real quick so now once your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi now go and turn on the developer options and then you will have the OEM unlock option now go back developer options and as you can see OEM unlocking and it is grayed out because it is saying bootloader is already unlocked so now if you want to turn this option back off you will have to again go to the download mode and again there you need to lock the bootloader first then you can turn this toggle off but now we don't need that because we need to install TWRP recovery never install TWRP recovery or any other custom ROMs with a locked bootloader alright now once you get this grayed out option which is bootloader already unlocked over here you can again go ahead and switch off your phone now we need to boot the phone in download mode again. 
so I'm gonna switch off the phone now once that is done press and hold the volume up and down button and then connect your phone to your PC alright so now once you press the volume up button on your phone your phone will show up in the Odin flash tool it's showing two devices over here because I'm using another device to record the phone screen so yeah now once you have loaded all the files and your phone bootloader is unlocked and now you're in download mode now we can go ahead and press the start button now don't press the start button right away now what you need to do is keep your phone in your hand and as soon as it says reset in the small square box you need to immediately hold the volume up button and the power button together until the phone boots into the TWRP recovery mode you must not miss this step so uh, I'm gonna show you visually because I can't uh, do it uh, while talking to you because I'm holding the mic in one hand and I'll have to hold the phone in one hand so yeah I'll just show it visually for you guys alright so I'm going to hit the start button immediately drop the mic and then head over to the phone and keep my fingers ready on the volume up button and the power button and as soon as it says reset on this small square box you will have to press and hold the volume up button and the power button until the phone reboots into the TWRP recovery mode alright so I'm gonna do that now And once the phone reboots into the TWRP recovery mode, you can let go of the buttons. And as you can see, it says pass over here in the small square box. Now we have successfully installed TWRP recovery and also unlocked the bootloader of our phone. All right. So now one more thing I would like to say is, all right. So one more thing which I want to say is now if you want to go into the, uh, back into the stock operating system, you cannot just hit reboot and then select system. Your phone will be stuck in a boot loop. So don't do that. First, you need to do this. Go back, select wipe, ad advanced wipe, select Dalvik ART cache, cache, metadata, data, internal storage, and then swipe here to wipe. And yeah, I don't think it's gonna read because it's the first time it's running TWRP. So I think we need to reboot the phone into the recovery once, not the system recovery. So select that, and your phone will reboot back into the recovery mode. Alright, now let's try to uh, do the advanced wipe. So, dive KRT cache, cache, metadata, data, internal storage, swipe to wipe. And if it shows up again like that, just hit back, go back again, select format data over here, type the word yes, and then hit the tick mark over here. And yeah, once that is done, then you can select reboot system if, if you want to boot into the stock ROM back again. And again, the first boot will take some time, so you will have to wait. So now as you can see the phone has put it into the setup screen so now you can just set up the phone like it's a new one and use it as normal with the unlocked bootloader and the TWRP recovery so yeah now we have successfully unlocked the bootloader and also installed the TWRP recovery so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video